Hello and welcome to the 10th video in this series making a beginner application using Vue and Vuetify. Starting straight off from the last video where we could click load data, load our players with the pictures and things like that. What I want to do in this video is something actually quite easy. What I want to do is in the header of the table I just want to add the button to toggle the details on or off and in fact we've covered everything we need to do already in this series so hopefully this one won't uh, be too difficult to understand or for me to, to explain. Um, so I'm just going to go uh, into the code that we have then and have a look at the things we need to do. So to toggle the uh, details on and off what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use a V show. You remember we've got a VF here which says uh, only render when uh, this is valid, selected country. What I want to do in this case is actually we're going to pre-render everything, it's okay to do that and I want to have on the age, the overall, a V show and also on the player age and player overall in the table data section here. So the two headers here and the table data here. And to have that V show, I obviously need some kind of toggle to understand whether or some variable part of my data object in the view app to say whether I should show it or not. That should be true or false. So the first thing we're going to do then is inside our data part of our view app, then we're just going to define something else and we're going to define something called a property called show details and show details I'm going to declare as false to start with so we won't be showing any of the details. The next thing I'd like to do then is I'd like to go into here and I'd just like to type uh, vshow on our table header and set that uh, equal to uh, false. Sorry, not equal to false, I want to set that equal to show details. Slightly addled brain. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing then to the overall, to the player age and the player overall here, like so. And that's you already, if I go back to the application now and just refresh, um, what we'll get is our table then and now we get the table and we've hiding our details and the reason we're doing that hopefully it's fairly clear is because vshow is set or show details sorry is set to false therefore we're saying don't show these uh, two column headers and don't show these two uh, columns here as part of our table data so that what remains for us now then is actually to be able to toggle these details on and off. And I'd also like when I toggle these details on and off, I'd like to have a button that does that. And I'd like the button text to change as well. So it looks a little bit nicer. So the first thing we'll do is we'll make a new function inside our methods section. And I'm going to call that toggle details. And then Inside here, what I'm going to do is basically say that uh, this show, dot show details is equal to, and because we're using true or false, I can just simply say the opposite of what, uh, so the not of what uh, show details is. So if show details is false, then it becomes true and vice versa. So we've now got a function that we can call inside our methods from the index.html to actually switch show details. What we now need to do is set up the button to actually be able to do that. So to do that, then I'm going to copy the code I've already got for a button that's inside here. And then inside the empty section of the table header here, I'm going to set up a, a div. And this div then can contain our button for showing the details. Now at the moment, the button is uh, still set to uh, load the API. So I want to change that, I'll just neaten things up. So I'm going to set that to be equal to our toggle details function. So we actually call toggle details like so. And I'm just going to call this now det uh, details on like so and then we'll fix the text in a minute so that button is all we need now whenever I click this button I'll call toggle details and that'll set show details to the opposite of whatever show details was which will have the effect of showing or hiding our details so just go back into the application empty cache and hire read load load some data select a nation and now I've got my button here and if I click details on I get the details if I click it again it toggles and they're hidden so the button's working nicely. The only thing I'd like to do is at the moment, I'd like this to actually say details off so that I know that I'm going to click the button to turn these details off. And now the details on as it is here is OK. So back into the code, let's have a look at doing that. So the way I'm going to do that is instead of having the on here, I'm actually going to have a conditional operator. So what I'm going to do using the question mark, so I'm just going to put some two sets of uh, curly braces there because we're using some code and now all I need to do is just say show details 
And if show details is true, then what I actually want to be doing is I want to be saying, okay, then let's put off here because it means that the details are on. So I want them to be off. Otherwise, then we know that we need the text to be on. And I got the, as usual, the, the double speech marks incorrect on the keyboard. Never mind. Okay. <clears throat> if you've not seen this kind of this question mark operator before, you can look it up online, but it's like a very shorthand if else. So I'm saying if show details, if this expression before the question mark basically is not false in this case, so if show details is true, then let's put the text off. So I'll have details off. Otherwise let's have the text on. So if I just save that, go back to the application and refresh, click load data, select a nation, and now you can see that it's saying to us, click me to have details on. And if I click the details on, it now changes to have the text, turn the details off. It's very nice, very simple. And that's actually it for this video. Um, hopefully that's made some sense and you begin to get an idea of how easy it is to set things up using the, uh, the view framework. It's really very nice, especially using uh, Viewtify. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Uh, comments, criticisms, questions, uh, welcome as always, and uh, see you in the next one.